Yes, here. So on this session, we are actually going to talk about how to become better at Python, how to become better Python developer. So who is a better Python developer? What do they need to do? And what are some of the stuff that they need to put in place to be best? Well, actually, there are just a few stuff that needs to be done. Just like in all other programming languages and all the other stuff that are required in Python, the same is as such is all required. So some of the things you need to do, the steps you need to take, one of the most important steps is to think about mastering the basic steps and also reinforcing um, those basic steps in every step of the development. So the basic step has to do with the data types, um, data structures in python is available in, in almost every programming language and also to understand how to implement some simple logics um, like the if um, analysis and if conditions and also to deal with some of the simple data types that are available in python that might not be if you're coming from different programming language you might get to see that python have a different set of programming um, data types that are not in some of the like a tuple for instance in Python that's not available in Java and, in, and some of the old programming languages and it's also there is also different how array is presented in Python so uh, mastering the data the difference or the the basics in Python actually helps you to get good grounds in Python development the next thing to look at is to think about adapting good code in practice. So how do you do good code in practice? It means that you need to begin to think about all the things you need to be able to do to be able to add some source to your codes. How do I do stuff better and easier? You need to do that by adapting some of the good um, programming skills and good programming principles like the object-oriented programming concept to help you to be able to build a good um, coding skills and that is one very important skill that you like to do and something you like to learn if you want to be a better uh, Python programmer or you want to be better with Python those are some of the practice you need to do try and do good coding practice you will also like to do um, become skilled in stuff like debugging so you know that um, Python is um, a very easy language so and it is sometimes some people say that it reads more like regular English so you know careful you know you are tempted to write just anything at all and you might have a lot of bugs so you must practice the skill of um, debugging and testing so that whatever code you write you be able to debug it you have to find the errors and identify all the things that are in there that might actually be under the challenge for you so that you be able to um, have clean code to show at the end of the day then you also would like to work on real world projects so if you're actually learning any kind of programming at all you should always and you should always think about learning something like um, uh, working on real world projects like simple, sim, uh, simple project or be able to contribute to some open source or support any <coughs> kind of development voluntary projects out there so that you'll be able to um, get hands-on experience and add, add more value to your Python skills. So these are some of the things that are very important if you want to be better at Python and you would love to go through these simple steps to, to be able to become much better at Python programming. So um, you also have to know that now that you understand this basic element, you need to become like an agent of Python. What I call as agent is more like you need to know how it works, what, how does Python work, some of the things that are required in Python, like maybe some of the libraries, the packages, how to import them, how to move them on various sections. Those are like very important. So you need to work on some code samples to be able to implement those ideas and cement them in your mind so that you know how it works. Then the next thing is to practice. So coding, practice, work on simple project, real world project, and every task that you can do, try and work at it with Python. 
and keep practicing and practicing and going to have good grabs of it and be able to implement it at the end of the day. So if you have any idea, you can just pick up the, an ID and you can just implement it like that because you practice the coding over and over again. That is one um, another important thing that is required if you want to be better at Python. You also would like to um, learn from platform. So let's give a little shout out to our sponsor for this video. So our sponsor for this video is actually Shinafaz. Shinafaz is an online skills development platform that actually trains software engineers, data analysts, and business analysts um, from the ground up. So it's a very good platform and actually um, take up some live courses over there. And this um, live tutor session platform that Shinafaz have, they actually have a live session with you where you actually meet up with the, um, the tutor online and you can actually have access to him live as you go through the training and the course and be able to ask your question directly and be able to uh, address anything that actually worries you from that point and be able to deal with it from there. This is not like pre-recorded videos where you just go and watch the videos and you leave. They actually give you the opportunity to interact with the the course instructor and be able to ask all your questions and all the various elements. So shout out to um, Trian Fast for helping us sponsor this video. So this is a little tips on how to be better at Python. So we actually go on a series on how to um, deal with almost every section of Python. So we have a course from zero to hero on Python. We have courses on real world Python project real world AI projects, how to be an AI agent, um, some of the basics in Python, like maybe data types, the various um, analysis stuff, like um, if analysis, if statements, for loops, and while loops. We are going to deal on all of that on this channel, so you would like to subscribe. So click on the link below and subscribe. Click on the like as you join us on this series as we go through the entire Python process. So we'll have a couple of videos also on WordPress that you would like to check it out. So you can go to the channel and you can follow us and view that through the entire process and you're going to see how great it is learning how Python works. So I tell you that you love to be on this channel and you love to learn more about Python. So this is a little introduction to um, our Python series that's going on. So shout out to Shanfast once more and thank you for listening and um, with great patience and join us on the rest of our video series that you're going to have and let's learn how Python works. Bye bye for now.